Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian. I'm streaming to you live from beautiful Victoria here on the west coast of Canada. I hope everybody is having a fantastic start to their weekend. I hope you're all happy and healthy. Uh, students in this class, we are looking at IELTS speaking part one. Specifically, we are looking for those band nine interactions. How do you get that perfect band nine score? Well, I'm here to tell you and help you achieve that score. Welcome, Manisha. Hi, Pachu. Kamrun, Ani, Simran, Anish. Hun Hun, nice to see so many students in the class. Welcome to our members, Cass, and to all of our viewers. Uh, this lesson is presented to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS. Visit us there for the general IELTS. Check us out at gieltshelp.com. Both of our websites have loads and loads of materials to help you improve your speaking as well as for the other parts of the IELTS exam, simply click this red button, the Join Now button, to subscribe to our premium IELTS package. It's a one-time payment for lifetime access, so no need to worry about monthly costs. You just do it once only, and um, we do have this very special uh, discount code still going on, um, which is 20% uh, off. Uh, use the code PASS IELTS, PASS IELTS for that 20% discount uh, when you click on that red button and then you click use coupon code, you enter PASS IELTS, continue and you're off to the races. Um, for the general IELTS, check us out at gieltshelp.com. Same idea, green background. Click that big red button. Again, do yourself a favor, maximize your scores. Uh, free uh, is good, but paid materials are better, um, especially if you are looking for the best results possible. And hey, you're paying almost 300 bucks for the IELTS exam, so why not spend an extra 40, 50 bucks to really uh, do a great job, right? It makes sense. All right, everyone. Uh, so uh, in this class, again, we will be doing speaking and I see a lot of people already wanting to volunteer. That's fantastic. I will be calling our viewers and we will be practicing the speaking. Um, get our apps, Academic IELTS Help uh, from your app store. Link the app to your web account. So the app and the websites actually connect together uh, so that you're learning from the same account. If you don't know how to link your app to your website account, just send me an email and we can help you out. <clears throat> but it's actually in the app. You have to tap more in the app and then uh, link it up there. Um, you can follow our live class schedules, get videos, get tips uh, on Instagram. Instagram is IELTS underscore AE help for academic and G IELTS help for general. We've got lots and lots of followers. So be one of those followers. Keep up to date with what we're doing. Um, including our schedule, you can see here, we've got no classes tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, everyone, but then, uh, of course, we will have classes starting on Wednesday, uh, the 19th, and going all the way to Saturday, the 22nd, so uh, check out that schedule. It will also be on this YouTube channel on the post, so make sure to subscribe. All right, everyone. Let's get into it. Um, here we go. Uh, I'm kind of screaming. I'm getting pretty excited. Uh, all right, so here we go. IELTS speaking part one, everybody. The speaking section, 12 minute interview. Okay, sometimes it goes a little bit longer, sometimes a little bit shorter, um, but usually 12 minutes. And you get an examiner, kind of like me, a person who will be very fluent and professional with their English. They will be sitting in a room. You have to go early to your IELTS speaking exam. In fact, students, I highly recommend using the speaking interface that we're going to use today to practice right before your exam. Find someone to ask questions from, give answers. Okay, and then you um, register. So make sure you take your ID or your passport that you used when you signed up for the test. They'll take your picture, 
You have to empty out your pockets, no mobile phones, no smartwatches, um, no uh, listening devices. You cannot have a, a, a Bluetooth headset in your ear, of course, when you go in there. Um, no watches, nothing like that. You just go in there, you sit down, and you will be met by an examiner like me. The examiner will say, welcome to the speaking portion of the IELTS exam. My name is Adrian. I am going to be your examiner for this part of the test. I will give you instructions for each of the three parts. I will record it for marking purposes. This is candidate number 97351 and the time right now is 14 o'clock. The test is being conducted in Moscow, Russia. Now we shall begin. The very first question that they ask you always, even before your name, is may I see your identification? Lots of ways to answer this question. Just be sure to be fluent, everyone, okay? So be sure to be fluent. So answer like this, yes, absolutely. Here is my passport. If you use the passport, use the word passport, not ID, okay? Passport, which I used to register about a month back. Please have a look at my uh, credentials. Okay, so again, lots of ways to uh, answer this question. Be fluent, okay? Simran says, yes, sir, of course. Here's my passport, which I used to register. Please take a look. Yeah, so lots of ways, be fluent. Don't just say yes. Okay, it's kind of like, ooh, okay. Um, if you just give an answer like this, and if you just go, yes, sure, the examiner might start to feel like they're gonna be pulling teeth. Okay, we have this expression, and sometimes um, language teachers they use this expression, they, they say it was like I was pulling teeth, okay? Uh, you don't want the examiner to feel like they're pulling teeth. It means, um, so this means that they are struggling to get full sentence answers, okay? Uh, so you don't want that, all right? I'm not sure if you've ever heard any of your teachers use this expression, but um, it's certainly common among uh, language teachers that it felt like I was pulling teeth. I was like, okay, what's your hobby? And they're like, tennis. And I'm like, okay, and when do you do your hobby? And they're like, in the morning. And then it's like, okay, and what do you like about your hobby? It's exercise. And they're like, oh God, I'm pulling teeth. Okay, so. You don't want that feeling. You want them to feel like, oh, here's a person ready to communicate with me, ready to give me full sentence answers. All right, so that's what you want to have the examiner feel, okay? All right. Um, if they don't feel that, your mark's going down, down and down, okay? So, all right. Um, and then, uh, so here again, let's just, you know, let's, let's stay on the uh, positive side here. So speak and repeat. All right. Definitely, you know, you want to be excited when you go into your IELTS speaking interview. Don't be nervous. Don't be shy. Don't be melancholy. It means like kind of like sad or depressed. Don't be like, you know, depressed about doing the IELTS. Um, be kind of like excited as if you're all like oh woo -hoo, I get to do an English exam how fun um, and so make sure to speak and repeat during this class everyone okay so here's the question may I see your identification yes absolutely here's my passport which I used to register about a month back please have a look at my credentials what is your full name and then give them your full name again um, pretend like you're excited to share your name with this person, okay? So, um, my uh, whole name is Adrian Thomas uh, Fredericton. I'm just making that up, that's not my actual name. My first name is Adrian, but the rest is made up. Um, I like 
to go by Tom, um, please just call me Tom. Okay, so I'm answering that question of what would you like to be called or what do you want me to call you, okay? Because the examiner will ask you that. Uh, it's in their instructions to ask that question. All right, and so again, repeat after me. What is your full name? My whole name is Adrian Thomas Fredericton. I like to go by Tom. Please just call me Tom. Okay, Tom. For part one, I will ask you a couple more questions to get to know you better and some questions on a general topic. All right, and I see some of our members answering this just fine. So, uh, Nuthan says, my full name is Nuthan Kumar Kishore and you can call me by my first name, Nuthan. Okay, Nuthan. Tatiana says, my given name is Tatiana. My middle name is Pranovna. My surname is Starikova. Please call me Tatiana. Okay, Tatiana. Cass says, my given names are Cassandra, Erica, and my surname is Hermoso. Please just call me Cass for short. Beautiful, Cassandra. Very nice. Accurate. I love how a lot of you picked up those uh, tips I gave you. There's such a thing as middle name or middle names. First name, not first names, interestingly. Um, and uh, you're picking up on how to correctly express these. So very good. Okay, Baljeet says, my given name is Baljeet. My family name is Singh. You can refer to me as Baljeet. That's nice, that's polite, Baljeet. Okay, Amrinder says, my full name's Amrinder Paul Singh Dhaliwal. Please just call me by my given name, Amrinder, as this is what I'm used to being called. Um, Mien, you didn't state which is given name, which is family name. Is that okay for me? Yeah, me, absolutely. You don't have to say given name, family name. You can just give your full name, Adrian Thomas Fredericton. Okay, I like to go by Tom. Um, yeah, it's fine. You don't have to uh, disseminate or uh, create that differentiation. They'll get it, okay? All right. Um, so uh, let me let me call some of our uh, viewers now and let's verbalize uh, part one. This is where it gets exciting and fun. So um, we are going to uh, take some volunteers, okay? And to volunteer to speak with me and test your speaking, uh, pay attention to these steps. So register a free or paid account at aehelp.com. Log into your My Student account, okay? Click on Student Partner Speaking. Accept the terms, make sure to enable your microphone. So when your browser says, would you like to allow this website to use your uh, speaker and your microphone and your video, say yes, okay? There's, you can't video chat if you don't let the website use those tools. Okay, keep the window open and then in the chat um, with the blue envelope, you can message me, I want to volunteer. So students, don't use the messenger contact button on the website, that's not going to work. Okay, uh, you have to actually log in. Let me show you how to do this and then I'll take some volunteers. So here we go, uh, this is our General Outs website. Um, you want the academic one. The academic one is with the blue background it will look like uh, this for you, okay? You'll see it like that. And then you can register for the paid account, which is a really good idea. Again, um, just click that red join now button, or you can try it for free with this green button right there, the try demo. And then once you register, uh, it's really quick, really easy. Um, then you have the My Student account up at the top. You click on that My Student account and then you have the student partner speaking. If anybody wants to book like a full IELTS speaking practice interview session with me, with feedback and marking, uh, you can do that by clicking the uh, yellow button, speaking interview practice. But for right now, we're using this um, student partner speaking, okay? So student partner speaking, the blue one. All right, click on that, um, accept that you're going to speak politely. This is about the time that your browser will say, do you want to enable the uh, microphone video and such? Um, and then you can video audio chat 
with me and with other students. So students, if you don't, if you don't get a hold of me, um, chat with other students. You know, it's it's for everyone to interact with each other uh, with IELTS. Okay. So we've got lots and lots of volunteers in here already, ready to go. Um, all right. So I think Baljeet was the first out of the gate. So let me just call Baljeet here real quick, and then we'll start this off with some of the first questions. Okay. Hello. Hi again, Baljeet. How are you, sir? I am doing good. You were very quick to volunteer, so I figured, all right, let's do it. Um, so, Baljeet, I'm going to get right into your speaking part one interview. Um, and uh, just give me some uh, some answers according to what you have learned in the classes, and I'll give you some feedback, okay? Okay. Sir. All right. So, welcome to uh, the uh, speaking portion of the IELTS exam. My name is Adrian. I will be your examiner. May I see your identification? Yes, certainly. Uh, here is my passport, which is which I used for the registration. Please take a look. What is your full name? My given name is Singh, and my first name is Baljeet. You can refer to me as Baljeet. How did you come to this exam? I came here by bus, which took me about uh, 25 minutes. Do you have any hobbies? Yes, uh, I love to read books, and uh, I <coughs> read a couple of times uh, in a day like uh, two to three hours and, uh, and my current read is uh, uh, Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty. Okay, excellent. That was wonderful. That's a band eight for sure for your start. Band eight to band nine even. Okay, yeah. band eight. I would say band eight safely. Okay. Um, just because you got stuck a couple of times and there were there was a little bit of awkwardness and you know they're really picky band nine you have to be absolutely flawless almost um, but uh, band eight is it's very good and it's very difficult to get so even native speakers have to really pay attention to get a band eight so um, yeah I mean Balji it's obvious that you're practicing I know you had that practice uh, interview with me as well and you had some similar questions here to start which was which was nice uh, that you um, made some uh, improvements so I asked you to see your identification you gave me a confident fluent answer you said yes certainly here's my passport which I used uh, for registration then I asked for your full name um, you gave me your full name you told me that you want to be okay. called Baljeet that was perfect and then I asked you how did you come to this exam and you said I came here by a bus which took me about uh, 35 minutes it was beautiful so you used the uh, question in your answer you used correctly the past tense right uh, you used oh, yes. an adjective clause which Okay, and then you gave me some quantitative information, 35 minutes. So you made me clearly understand your process of getting from A to B. You were at A, you got on a bus, you rode it for 35 minutes, and then yep. B, okay? Um, if you want to like kick it up a notch, um, you could uh, replace the came here by bus um, with um, the specific uh, verb, I rode the bus. Yes, sir. Right? So the more you can paraphrase, Baljeet, the question, the better your lexical resource mark, right? So between band eight and band nine, it's not a lot yes. of difference, but it's a, it's a difficult difference. And one of those differences between a band eight and a band nine is just proving that higher level of lexical resource and competency by paraphrasing as much as possible. So I rode the bus, which took me about 35 minutes, and then maybe throw in like a little expression like from uh, door to door, okay? Yes. Sir. Means like basically from the time you left your house to the time that you walked into the exam center, okay? Um, yes. Then I asked you, do you have any hobbies? And you were quick to respond, so you, you, you knew that this kind of question could 
come and that was super. So you said, yes, I love to read books. And then you said, and I read a couple of times a day, like two to three hours. And my current read is Think Like a Monk, which was really good. Okay, so you gave me an answer. Um, and then you gave me, again, some more quantitative language, like two to three hours a day. That was that was really good. Okay. Yes. Um, all right. Um, now, to improve this answer, you could. What do you, let, instead of me telling you, what do you think you could do to improve this answer? Uh, like uh, uh, I can say that um, I read more. Uh, like I can give the description more about the book that uh, no, no, it no, no, is. No, no, no. Uh, let me ask you the question again. Pay attention carefully to the question. Do you have any hobbies? Okay, I can say that uh, I have a couple of hobbies. Uh, uh, I love to read books as well as I play board games with my brother. Like yesterday, I had played uh, chess with my elder brother and it was a lot of fun. Beautiful, yeah, so that was an even stronger answer. So see, that's where it's like, oh, but that sounded so good, the first one. And then, you, and then you know, when you say the second answer and you realize that, okay, that's even more accurate because you have hobbies as a plural okay. and you're answering yeah, yes, sorry. and then you give two hobbies, then it's like, oh, okay, so you're not just focusing on one hobby that maybe you've practiced before talking about, but you can actually be dynamic and give a couple of hobbies, right? So, um, and, uh, I also uh, love to play board games, um, especially uh, chess. Okay. Yes. Uh, I played with my brother yesterday. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So uh, the uh, plurals, right? You have to um, really pay attention to the plurals of the question. If it's a plural, you really want to focus on giving at least two. Okay. So the uh, students are not <laughs> seeing the screen. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Balji, for that. All right, so let me cut back. I'm getting too excited, I know. Okay, so now the students can see the screen. Well, they can, you know, listening listening is good here too, all right? So there's the screen, everyone. Sorry about that. <laughs> Munis is like the screen, screen, screen. I got really excited, ladies and gents, about, you know, helping Balji out here. So but I'll pay more attention. Um, just like everybody needs to pay attention to these plurals, okay? So uh, when you hear that, you know, S on the end, then the tip is um, make sure to give at least uh, two points when the yeah. question is a plural, okay? Yes. It will definitely help you get a better band score, okay? Yes, no, I got it. <laughs> All right, Baljeet, and I got it, but I have to make sure I switch my screens and pay attention to my reference screen. My reference screen is off to the left, so I got to really kind of like <laughs> look out the left of my eye, but I'll pay more attention. Okay, Baljeet, thank you so much uh, for that uh, kickoff to speaking part one and um, uh, for showing us how it's done to get at least a band eight, okay? Thank you, thank you. All right, keep it thank up. Thank you for your feedback. Absolutely. Okay, so that was Baljeet, everyone. Give Baljeet an applause. That was fantastic. Baljeet's working really hard. Um, he's got an exam coming up, I think, within a month's time. So uh, he's really pushing to get that maximum band score, and that's you know what you should be doing, right? Okay, uh, let's uh, let's take somebody else. So um, okay, let's do uh, Delvin here. Um, I'm looking for some new volunteers as well. So Delvin, are you ready? Doesn't mean I won't take um, previous volunteers, so just hang in there, okay? I'm gonna really try to move along. Okay, so let's see if I can get a hold of uh, Delvin here. Let's see. All right, Delvin's there, perfect. We got a little bit of delay, but not much. Hi, Delvin. I can hear that you picked up, but I'm not sure if you have your microphone enabled.
All right, Delvin, it sounds like your mic is not enabled on the website. So make sure to enable it and then uh, try back with me in a little bit, okay? So don't give up, okay? All right, Delvin hung up there. Okay, uh, let's take uh, Arda. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna call Arda. I know Arda's ready. Hello? Hi, Arda. How are you? I am doing superb. Thank you for asking. How are you doing? I'm doing good as well. Awesome. Okay. Any plans for the weekend? I'm just playing games and studying. <laughs> what kind of games? Um, like competitive games that I play with my team, uh, team and friends. Okay. All right. Okay, Arda, so I'm going to ask you a question or two. Give me a nice full sentence answer. I'll give you some feedback. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. All right, okay. So uh, let's talk about walking. How often do you go for a walk? Um, I sometimes go for a walk. I could say four or five times a month, especially when the weather is good. Uh, last time I went for a walk with my dad was a week ago. Where do you usually walk? I walk in a park which is not so far from the building where I live. Uh, I can breathe fresh air there because there are a lot of trees. And when I get tired, I can also have a rest. There are sitting benches in the park. Okay, that was really good. All right, very fluent. I cannot type that fast. Um, but uh, anyway, that was great. That would be like a band 8.5 Arda. And as you know, um, from uh, my previous assessments, your English is definitely quite strong and you know, you're, um, uh, you're getting quite good at understanding what kind of information gets you those high band scores. So um, here at the beginning, I asked you, how mm -hmm. often do you go for a walk? And you said, I sometimes go for a walk. Um, and that was your qualitative answer, right? So always, mm -hmm. never, sometimes, sometimes, that's your, that's your ad, those are your adverbs of frequency, they're called in grammar. And uh, they're qualitative, right? Like sometimes for some people is five times a day. Um, sometimes for some people is five times a month, right? So you have yeah, to explain that. Yeah, it depends that. on the person. Yeah, it's subjective, exactly. And so you explain that. So you said, I could say four or five times a month. I like how you said I could say. Um, I could say it's kind of, it lets you think, it buys you a bit of time, mm -hmm. and it's also natural, right? It's like, oh, what yep. is it? It's like, I could say four to five times a month. So it was very good. And then you went into a little bit of detail. You said, especially when the weather is good. So you gave me a condition of time, right? It's a, it's a real condition and it's a condition mm -hmm. of time. It's, uh, so again, mm -hmm. it's very good. And then you gave me an example. You said the last time I went for a walk was about a week ago with my dad. Yep. Very nice. So at all the parts are there for me to say that, okay, that's band nine communication. It's clear, fluent, natural, complete, easy to understand. Okay, um, and then um, I asked, where do you usually go for a walk? That answer was okay. It wasn't as strong as the previous one. That one I felt was a little bit, so it was, there were just some slight oddities in the way you put it together. So you said that you went for a walk where you can also get some fresh air. Um, mm -hmm. I would have said it something like, I would have said it a little bit differently. Like I go to a park, near my home where the air is fresh uh, and there is much uh, greenery um, yeah. it's peaceful uh, and quiet yeah that's uh, much it, better in fact yeah so it's it's just a little bit smoother right it's like for that the, the difference between the band 8.5 and the band 9 is almost mm -hmm. just the smoothness so both are going to be very good answers. Both are going to be very grammatically accurate, complex mm -hmm. if necessary. The only difference between that 8.5 and that band nine will be just the smoothness of the answer. It's almost like you're writing a poem, if you will. It's very tricky, I know, but it can be done with practice, right? So mm -hmm. um, in fact, it's where I went uh, with my father this past Sunday. Okay, so notice how even instead of saying this last week, I'm 
thinking ahead and I'm paraphrasing last Sunday, right? So, um, yeah, so let's just try this one one more time. So where do you usually go? uh, Sorry, where do you usually walk? I go to a park near my home where the air is fresh and there is much greenery. It's peaceful and quiet. In fact, it's where I went with my father this past Sunday. Where do you usually walk? Um, I go to a park for a walk, which is not so far from my uh, building. Um, The air is fresh uh, in the park. Um, and there is much greenery uh, and it's quiet and peaceful. Um, I went with my father for a walk uh, this Sunday. Yeah, this past Sunday. Yeah. So again, that was still, so even though you repeated, that was still an 8.5 just because of those ands and those ums and that repetition of this park, this park. So it's those kinds of slight repetitions, those slight little breaks that if you can take those out that's how you push it from that 8.5 to the 9 and it comes with practice just a lot of public Mm -hmm. speaking with your um speaking uh, were you paying attention to the previous class by any chance arda um i don't remember the the question and answer class that we had just before this one did you attend that class it was a member's no i didn't i was studying physics Okay, good for you. Um, yeah, me, me asked a good question about um, speaking part two. And one of the advice that I gave there was uh, to check for a club called Toastmasters um, in your area. And I think they do it online now too. Okay, you can Google it. So uh, it's, I highly recommend it. It's an international club and it's well known. I think they are like, I don't want to say anything strange, but I think they've been around for like... Uh, 70 years or something like they've been around for a long time toastmasters are very 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 well recognized so google toastmasters um, and it's basically a club for public speaking so to improve Mm -hmm. your public speaking um, Mm -hmm. i think people can join at any level but especially when somebody reaches your level of english so like a band Mm -hmm. 7.5 or higher on the ielts then joining toastmasters is a really good idea for future success because it will give you the tools to be a powerful public speaker okay Mm -hmm. and it's free that's that's also the good news about it totally free it's 100 i'll have a look free. for sure okay so check that out they basically exist yep. exist everywhere so check it out yeah, okay right. arda um thank you so much for volunteering you're welcome have an awesome day you too bye-bye bye okay so that was arda give arda an applause for showing us how it's done for that really high band score okay um Let's see, uh, here's Muhammad. Let's see if Muhammad is available for a chat. Okay, Muhammad says, I want to volunteer. My speaking is on 23rd of January. I really need to practice. All right, Muhammad, are you ready? Hopefully I can give you some quick tips before your January 23rd exam. And thank you for the applauses in the chat. I can see that, that's really nice. Okay, Muhammad is ready. All right, here we go. Hello, Muhammad. I hear that you picked up. I'm not sure if you can hear me. Again, I'm not sure, like maybe some of, some of our users are on mobile phone and uh, I'm not sure how you how you kind of do this on mobile phone, but you gotta make sure that you're enabling your uh, microphone or your headset um, in your settings on your mobile phone when you're accessing this through the website. So, uh, Muhammad, I, I can't hear you and I'm guessing it's, it's with your microphone. You can probably hear me. Uh, Mohammed, don't worry though. If um, if uh, you have this exam before the twenty third, maybe try booking a full IELTS speaking practice interview with me. Click that yellow button in your My Student account. Okay, I'm going to reach out to somebody else. All right, and Mohammed, try to connect with other people in the chat once you figure it out on your device. Okay. All right. 
All right, let me try a different new student here. Here's Ira. Okay, Ira, are you ready? So let's try to catch somebody else here. Again, students, a great way to make sure that when I'm calling you, you can connect with me is just try to you know, call somebody else first and see if you can connect with them. Okay, because if you can't, then you might have to adjust something on your device. Hello, Ira. Sounds like you also picked up, but again, I'm just hearing silence, which again suggests to me that the device is not enabling your microphone. And I know that you can, I'm sure of it. Okay. All right, so let me try somebody else. Again, same tip, Ira. Um, try to connect. Uh, my mic is connected. Okay, um, I'm not sure why you're not able to, uh, if you're using a headset, maybe you have to switch between your phone mic and your headset mic. So try to test it out with somebody else, okay? And then we'll see, all right? Okay, but I can't hear you. So we'll have to try somebody else for now. But keep, keep, keep trying, okay? All right. Um, Let's see. Okay, let's try Ghazi. I'm gonna try one more person here. Okay, are you ready? Uh, definitely using this interface, students, I would uh, first recommend using a computer if there's one available to you. It's a little bit simpler, I think, than mobile phone. Mobile phones have a lot of moving parts depending on your data plan, your connection, so um, using a computer with uh, Wi-Fi or especially a, a stable um, wall connection, you're going to be much better off, okay? Because you're using more data heavy kind of interactions here. All right, so Ghazi is ready. Let me see if I can get a hold of Ghazi here. Hi, Ghazi. Hi, Adrian. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I am also doing good. Thank you for asking. Ghazi, may I ask, where are you in this big, beautiful world of ours? Yes, sir. I'm uh, currently in uh, Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada. Oh, you're We are Canada? neighbors. <laughs> okay. You're nearby me. You're only about five thousand. Yeah, you're only about but, five thousand uh, kilometers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I need four hours uh, from here to Newfoundland by plane. By yeah. plane, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and one week by car. By yeah, car. <laughs> Canada is a big country. Yeah, and yeah. I am right now. For yeah. me, it's seven thirty-nine in the morning, but I think yeah. for you, it's ten thirty-nine. Yeah, I think if I uh, will go to Cuba, it will be closer than BC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how big Canada is. Yeah, yeah, you can fly yeah. to Cuba faster. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sure. Okay, well, well uh, all right. So, uh, may I ask then, Ghazi, why are you taking the IELTS exam? So the reason uh, I uh, am a, an, an international registered nurse and I came to Canada recently and I have to uh, work as a nurse here. So uh, for this reason, I need the academic islands. I need the seven ban at least. Got you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let me ask you a part one speaking question. And then yeah. I'll give you some feedback and I'll give you an assessment, okay? All okay. Right. So here we go. Uh, let's talk about walking. Do you like to walk at a fast or a slow pace? Uh, actually, I uh, prefer uh, walk uh, 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 quickly uh, because I uh, feel uh, 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 bored when I walk uh, 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 slow. 
so uh, almost uh, I uh, walk uh, uh, quickly uh, when I go uh, uh, outside uh, also because I don't have enough time uh, I keep myself uh, a walk just for a short time uh, maximum 20 minutes uh, uh, every time I go uh, for a walk uh, just yesterday I go uh, uh, for a walk uh, on the uh, board walking uh, here in uh, my town uh, and I finished uh, all my tour uh, just in 20 minutes okay all right now to be very honest with you Ghazi uh, the examiner will probably interrupt you if you answer that long okay, okay. all right so you have to keep your answers shorter all right um, and you want to be a little bit faster. So I think the examiner will give you a band 6 to a band 6.5. So you definitely want to improve by a, at least about a band to get that score that yeah. you need, that 775. Mm. Uh, here's the good news. I think your vocabulary is definitely a band 7. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I think you have the correct idea. So I can tell that your listening skills are very good. I, I would yeah. estimate that your listening skills are at least a band higher than your speaking skills. Yeah. Uh, because you clearly, you know, you clearly catch the question. You have good ideas around what you want to say. Um, yeah, I, I just expect the uh, following question. I didn't expect this question. That's why I'm confused a little. And bit. don't don't expect questions. So just be ready yeah. for be ready for any question, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So um, you said actually I prefer to walk. Okay, you had a little bit of grammar uh, mistakes at the beginning there. So you said I prefer walk quickly. I prefer to uh, walk quickly. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. Yeah. You have yeah, to use the infinitive, infinitive there. I prefer to walk quickly because I feel uh, bored when I walk slow. Okay, and, yeah. I, and I thought that that was good. So you gave me that reason right away. You just want to say it faster, okay? So yeah. your fluency score would be a six, but your uh, coherence score would be a band eight because it's very clear what you're saying, okay? Yeah. All right, so to improve your fluency, practice as much as possible. And it sounds to me like you're in Canada with your family, is that correct? Yeah, with my family, I hear, yeah. But uh, all my neighbors, uh, Kendi and here, a Newfoundlander, you know, the Newfoundlander accent. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, I do know. <laughs> yeah, the, they, they fast in uh, accent, they fast in food, they fast in everything. So. Yeah, I'm so familiar I should with be. I should be fast. <laughs> yeah. Um, so here's a tip. Um, you should designate an English hour each day with your family. So I know yeah. it's really hard to do that and it's more it's easier to speak in your own language, like for example, yeah. Arabic at home. But yeah. I strongly recommend um, having a set hour or even two hours where you know your family agrees that okay, between yeah. two o'clock and four o'clock we use English with each other only. And yeah. then um, that will really help you to kind of advance your speed okay yeah all right so actually I prefer to walk quickly because I feel a bored when I walk slow so yeah. uh, almost anywhere I go yeah I walk quickly um, and then you don't need to say when I go outside when I go out yeah um, also because I don't have enough time. And then here, I would just keep the example simple. So I only have uh, 10 minutes uh, to get to work and it's about a kilometer away. So I need to, uh, need to walk fast. Okay, and then stop and yeah. wait for the next question. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to read this, give the answer, and then just repeat yeah. and try to be nice and quick. Okay, so here yeah. we go. Um, do you like to walk at a fast or a slow pace? Actually, I prefer to walk quickly because I feel uh, bored when I walk slow. So almost anywhere I go, I walk quickly when I go out, also because I don't have enough time. I only have 10 minutes to get to work and it's about a kilometer away, so I need to walk fast. Do you like to walk at a fast? Or a slow pace? Uh, actually, I prefer to walk weekly because I feel bored when I walk uh, slow. So I'm almost uh, uh, everywhere I go, 
uh, I work quick, uh, quickly uh, when I go out. Also because I don't have enough time. I only have uh, 10 minutes uh, uh, per day uh, to uh, uh, get to work. Uh, and it is about a kilometer uh, away, so I need to uh, walk fast. Okay, very good. All right, so good. That's what you want to do, okay? You've got the basics, you've got the pieces. You just have yeah. to build that fluency. And to build that fluency, you have to practice, okay? So you yeah. have to practice. Otherwise, it's gonna be very difficult to get that band 7, 7.5 because you need to be very fluent for band 7, 7.5, okay? Yes, first time, uh, Adrian, that's the reason I uh, used the website and uh, took uh, with a personal life. But it's okay, I talk with people here, but uh, you know, this IELTS, uh, a test uh, is different when you use the uh, uh, daily <laughs> daily uh, activities. It's absolutely. Big yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm keeping uh, myself uh, in practice, but uh, you know, that's first experience. It's, it's for, challenging. You know. I know it's yeah. challenging, and it sounds like you're a busy man. You've got work. You've got family. Yeah, you're a busy yeah. man. But keep it up. Yeah. You'll get there. Okay, I know you will. Um, yeah, I, it sounds yeah. like you you're very ambitious, and that that will get you to your to your yeah, goal. Yeah, thank sure. you, I, and, and I appreciate. It. Absolutely. All right, Gazi, enjoy the rest of your day over in Newfoundland. You too. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, so that was Ghazi. All right, everybody, give Ghazi a round of applause. Nithan uh, there gave our congratulations star. I see that. We're experimenting with some new emojis for our members. That was awesome. Okay, so yeah, Ghazi in Canada, over in Newfoundland, way over on the other side of Canada, on, uh, yeah, about 5,000 kilometers from where I am. Okay, all right, let's take somebody else. Um, here we have Mohan. All right, let's see if we can reach out to Mohan. Um, okay, Mohan, are you ready? Let's see. I'm trying to move around on the list and maybe hear some new voices as well today. Okay, here we go with Mohan. can hear it pick it up okay not sure what's going on with Mohan but uh, I'll try back again at a different time Mohan all right I know Hasna really wanted to practice a uh, A question in the previous class expecting that it was speaking so let's see are you ready Hasna I mentioned in the previous class that I would keep an eye out for you because you were really excited to try a speaking part one question then so if you're still in the class you could, will be able to try it now let's see if you're still there Maybe not. Maybe you've gone for a break. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, there you are. Okay. Hi again, Hello. Hasna. Hello, sir. All right. So now we're in the speaking topic. I know you were excited yeah. last class to get a speaking question, right? Yeah, I was mistaken. I didn't see the title. That's okay. That's okay. We're in the speaking now. So I am going to ask you a question and now you will have a chance to shine. Okay. All right. Yes. So here we go. Um, still talking about walking. 
What do you like to wear on your feet when you go for a walk? Honestly, I like to wear a normal sandals uh, for my every mo everyday walk because I walk uh, for 15 minutes a day um, around 8 a.m. and I am comfortable with my swallow uh, sandals because um, I don't really need to wear some uh, fancy shoes because I only uh, walk around my residential area. All right. All right, I caught most of that, but that was very fluent. Um, Hasnas, that was very good. Uh, yeah, that was a solid um, 8.5. I think some examiners might even give you a band 9. I didn't really catch any uh, mistakes. There were a couple of just slight little oddities that, you know, it's like um, a band 9, it's almost like we're listening to like a pre-recorded TV show or something like that. So it has to be nearly perfect. But um, I think that some examiners would consider that perfect. Uh, so it would, it's floating around an 8.59 answer. So I asked, what do you like to wear on your feet when you go for a walk? You said, honestly, I like to wear normal sandals. Um, the one, so this is what I mean by oddity. Um, some examiners like myself, I would think that using the word normal is a bit strange here. Like what are normal sandals? Um, there, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know if there's any kind of sandal that we actually call a normal sandal. Um, I might use the word simple instead oh, in this okay. context. Okay, so I like to wear simple sandals. Okay, so nothing fancy, um, and I might even add that in for clarification. So nothing fancy uh, for my everyday uh, walk because I. Uh, walk around 15 minutes a day and then you were really fast I couldn't catch it so I'm just gonna say something like uh, to get to school and back um, and I'm comfortable with my and then I think you gave me like the type of sandal is that correct yes yeah, swallow swallow I, I'm not familiar with it but I'm, I just call it okay so I, I figured that's what it was okay so comfortable with my uh, swallow sandals um, they have a, a sturdy rubber sole uh, and they uh, support my ankles, let's say. Okay, um, and then I would just stop there. So overall, very good. Overall, very, very good. Um, and you said you don't need to wear any kind of expensive shoes, okay? All right, um, so I liked it. Uh, I'm going to just uh, repeat this answer and then um, copy me afterwards, okay? Yes. All right, so what do you like to wear on your feet when you go for a walk? Honestly, I like to wear a pair of simple sandals, nothing fancy. Uh, for me, uh, for my everyday walk, because I walk around 15 minutes a day to get to school and back, and I'm comfortable with my swallow sandals. They have a sturdy rubber sole and uh, they support my ankles. What do you like to wear on your feet when you go for a walk? Honestly, I like to wear a simple pair of sandals. Fancy for my everyday walk because I work around 15 minutes a day to get to school and back. And I'm comfortable with my swallow sandals. They have sturdy rubber sole and they support my ankles. Very nice. Okay, so that would be your band nine. That would be like your smooth, it's like we're actors in a movie type of perfection that they're looking for for that band nine score. Okay. All right, so. <clears throat> do I speak too mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'm sorry, so do I speak too fast? Like, no, not really. So your speed is okay. Um, the There's a range of what's called natural speed. Uh, and if I said that, you know, some people speak very quickly, some people speak a little bit slower, and that's within the what's called natural range of speed, you're kind of at the 70, 80%. So some people will speak even faster. Um, and of course, there's quite a few people that speak much slower. Um, if you think about it, my speed is around the 60%, okay? So mine is just over the average a little bit when I'm really speaking fast, okay? So think about it that way, okay? But it's okay, it's okay. Um, if you want to make sure that you remember things, like I like to wear a simple pair of sandals, you might want to slow down your speech about 15, 20% so that you can think about those words, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, um, so thank you so much, Hasna. Keep it up. Keep up the practice. 
Thank you very much, sir. Okay, have a nice weekend. Bye. Bye. Okay, so that was Hasna, one of our regular students. She did a really good job. Okay. Yeah. Um, it wasn't too fast. Pachu says she speaks very quickly the second time, but um, it wasn't too fast. It's still within the normal, within the normal range. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So Muhammad says he's fixed the problem. So I'm going to give Muhammad a second chance here. I want everybody to feel like you know it's not over until the fat lady sings. That's the expression. It's not over until the fat lady sings. Muhammad. So I'm going to give you another shot here. Are you ready? Muhammad says, I fixed the problem. I'm also curious to learn what the problem might have been. It might help some other students as well. So let's see if I can connect with you. Hopefully it, it indeed has fixed the problem. Okay. All right. Hello. Hi, Mohammed. Hi, Adrian. How are you? I'm doing good. You did fix the problem, Mohammed. Yes, I fixed it. What was it? I'm curious because I think maybe some other um, people are having probably a similar kind of yes. issue. Yes, actually, uh, at that time I was using hand free and now I switched to headphones. Oh, okay. So when you're using the hand free, then um, it, it doesn't connect as well as with the headphones. Okay. All right. Yes. So that's a tip to everybody. You might want to switch to, are you, and you're using mobile phone. Is that correct? No, uh, I'm using laptop. Oh, you're using the laptop. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. All right. So if anybody's using a laptop, using a headset is advisable. Okay, Muhammad, that's awesome. And you have your exam on the 23rd of this month, so fairly soon, in uh, eight days, right? Yes, actually, I have taken the IELTS exam before last uh, March 2021. And why uh, Why do you need IELTS? Sorry? Why do you need uh, to do the IELTS exam? What's your goal? Actually, uh, I need to uh, move to UK for my master's degree. Awesome. Okay. Um, where in the UK are you planning to go? Mm, I haven't decided it yet, but uh, I think I will go to Birmingham. Okay. All right. Uh, one of our colleagues yes. actually went to Birmingham University for um, master's in uh, philosophy. So, um, mm. okay. Yeah. And he's, he really liked the, the university there. So. Uh, that's good. All right. Okay. So I will ask you a question. Give me a nice full sentence answer. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're still talking about walking. Here we go. Have your walking habits changed in the past 10 years? And if yes, how? Yes. Uh, my walking habits are uh, greatly changed from the past 10 years because when uh, I was a child, I used to walk with my dad and now as I have grown uh, enough so this time I want to uh, this time I walk uh, with my I walk by myself and uh, I walk with my friends okay all right, and I think this is where Cassandra, if Cassandra is still watching, would say like, this is where I would ask the examiner to give me more clarity of like, what do you, what do you mean? Have my walking habits changed? Can you ask me more clearly? Yeah, because there's different ways to understand this question for sure. Like, you know, does the person mean where I walk, who I walk with, how I walk, uh, fast or slow? So what are, what am I asking you here, really? But um, you did a really good job here, Mohammed, by being confident and just answering. So you're like, okay, maybe he's asking me about like who I'm walking with 10 years ago versus now and that's fine that works okay so that could be a part of your walking habit who you walk with okay um so uh i would say that that would be like a six to a 6.5 and there's actually a really easy trick that you could use to improve that to a band six five maybe even a band seven right away okay, okay. um there is a very 
obvious mistake uh, that you made. Um, do you know what that is? When you look at the question and you look at the answer that I wrote here, um, look at the question, look at the answer, and there's a small change that you could make to really quickly improve your answer. Do you see what that is? I bet you some people in the chat are going to catch it very quickly. They're going to be like, um, they're going to be like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's missing. Something's missing. I'll give you that hint. Do you know what's missing there, Mohammed? Mm, I don't know. Okay, let me oh, give you a little bit. Yeah, Blueberry's kind of giving you the advice there in the chat. So um, yes, uh, uh, I got it now. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't explain that uh, the working with my dad and working now. Mm, not quite. It's, um, yeah, so Nirmal is saying the tense too. So um, what's the tense of the question? Have your walking habits changed in the past 10 years? What is the tense of that question? What, what verb tense is it using? It is uh, present perfect. Exactly. And your answer here, yes, my walking habits are greatly changed from the past 10 years. What's that using? It is uh, past. Yeah, it's more a simple past, past and simple. it's and it's even awkward, right? Very especially basic. when we yeah, it's simple past and it's and it's awkward, especially when we're talking about change. So um, you just need to change it a little bit, and it's going to be so much better. You should say yes. My walking habits have if greatly, greatly changed, changed yes. from uh, the past ten years, and now just with that little adjustment you're half a band ahead at least okay so really pay attention for the tense of the questions okay if the tense is in past perfect use the past perfect if you hear the had with the past participle make sure to use that okay so yes my walking habits have greatly changed from um and then instead of 10 years do you know what another way is to say 10 years a decade mm -hmm. And there you go. Now you're picking up lexical resource marks, right? So it's those little things. It's those little pieces. Okay. Uh, because when I was a child, I usually uh, walked with my dad. But as I have grown up now here, you're using present perfect. And that's nice. Um, so it's good to use it at least twice. And this would be your second one. So, but as I have grown up, um, I uh, now walk by myself and with my friends as I'm uh, no longer living at home. Um, mm -hmm. This morning I went to um, yes. play football with my friends and not my dad. Okay, and then you're done and then you're good and then you're golden, okay? So really pay attention to that tense. I think you can, I think you can get a band seven. Okay, um, you just have to really pay attention to those details. So let me uh, ask the question one more time, give you the answer and then copy the answer after, okay? okay? So here we go. Have your walking habits changed in the past 10 years? If yes, how? Yes, my walking habits have greatly changed from a decade ago because when I was a child, I usually walked with my dad, but as I have grown up, I now walk by myself and with my friends as I no longer live at home. This morning, I went to play football with my friends and not my dad. Um, have your walking habits changed in the past 10 years? If yes, how? Yes, my walking habits have greatly changed from a decade ago because when I, when I was a child, I usually walked with my dad but as I have grown up, I now work by myself and with my friends as I am no longer living at home. This morning, I went to play football with my friends and not my dad. All right. That's fantastic. So, of course, with that level of fluency and accuracy, you know, that's a bad nine. Um, and But that's what you're going for, right? So uh, what you want to do is um, when you're practicing, Mohammed, uh, practice your answers and your questions. Record it. If you're practicing with someone, ask them if it's okay to record the conversation. And then listen back. And any time you realize that, oh, okay, that question should have been a conditional or that answer, sorry, should have been a conditional or that answer should have been uh, present perfect or past perfect, then correct it repeat it maybe even mm -hmm. record it again and train your brain to be faster and more accurate for the grammar okay okay all right keep it up uh, can, I, can yeah. I can i ask you a question yeah go ahead 
okay uh, last time i didn't answer uh, for two question in part 3 mm-hmm. what score uh, would i get it doesn't work like that so it doesn't work like okay if you don't answer for two questions then you lose a band score it doesn't work that way it really depends on how you did for all the other questions so okay, l- um, let's say my like my band was my band was 5.5 in speaking yeah so let's say like um let's say that um you did a really good job on all the other questions um but you missed two because you didn't understand what they were asking you you could still get a 6.5 or a 7 even a 7.5 potentially okay but if you're okay. um getting like a 6.5 like what we just did right because i said to you i think i said I, you would get about a 6 or a 6.5 so if you let's say that you had about a 6 6.5 until part 3 and then you didn't answer two questions yeah that could drop you down to a 5.5 okay Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, good question Mohammed. And good luck on your uh, exam on the 23rd again, okay? Thank you. Okay. Bye for now. Thank you. All right, so that was uh, Muhammad. Um everybody give Muhammad a good luck, okay? You can give him an applause, but you can maybe also write good luck Muhammad on your exam on the 23rd. And if some of you also have some exams coming up, maybe um try to connect with Muhammad uh so that you can practice for half an hour or an hour a day uh for the next uh 7 days or so just to really build that fluency and uh improve that half band that one band score to get the target mark okay so uh use this tool okay and i can see reza saying all the best muhammad all right that's superb okay everyone um i've been super excited this whole class and i've even gone well over the time class usually we only have an hour but uh You know, I I get into it too. I lose track of time, but that is all the time that I have for today everyone. And if I didn't have a chance to speak with you today, don't worry. Next week we'll have more speaking, we'll have more practice starting from uh Wednesday, okay? Uh be sure to follow our schedule. Uh you can do that on Instagram um or on our YouTube channel, okay? our uh instagram is uh, ielts_aehelp and of course to use our website um join us at uh, aehelp.com for academic ielts uh to get all of the help and resources from us and uh gieltshelp.com for general ielts uh that's all the time i have i hope everybody else has a wonderful weekend as well thank you me Uh, goodbye, Cass. Goodbye, Sandra, Baljeet, Nutan, all of our viewers. I'm Adrian, signing out from Victoria here on the west coast of Canada. Much love to all of you. Bye for now. See you on Wednesday.